What's up, science team? Today we are joined by. This feels so weird. We're joined by. Today we got Trace Dominguez joining us. Yeah, today joining, joining us. us. My joining God, us that's today. what I'm going to say. Yeah. Okay. What's up, science team? I'm here with Nick Uhas. You got a YouTube channel, right? It's called Nickopedia. You're already watching it, but I got a YouTube channel too. It's called Una Dose of Trace. YouTube.com slash Trace Dominguez. That's really good. <laughs> I we should we just have you do it, honestly. As you guys know, uh, if you don't know, you're perhaps I have no idea where you've been living. A rock because <laughs> you've been living in like Heron Hall. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Season eight of Game of Thrones is coming out. And so in celebration of one of the coolest series ever made, uh, we decided that we're gonna do an experiment kind of in the same realm of Game of Thrones. So I like we're gonna that. do the same realm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. You see what you know, I did there? Yeah, I see what you did. Yeah. So we're going to replicate Dragon's Fire with this mini flamethrower. It's a, the King of Random mini flamethrower. And we're going to test which shield would actually protect you from Dragon's Fire better, a metal shield or a wooden shield. And yeah. we're gonna test the temperature on the back of the shield. But right. We'll get to that in a second. With a laser thermometer. It's gonna be really cool. I'm but, excited. Um, I think we should just jump on in, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, ye to the experiment. Now, I tried. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so here's how this experiment's gonna work. We're gonna use the Grant Thompson Mini Flamethrower to replicate Dragon's Breath. You put this in here, this is methanol, down into the little mini flamethrower. We add some pressure with this bike pump. Regular old air. Just regular old air. And when you push on this trigger right here, what happens is the pressure pushes down the methanol and it comes out of the top here. Once that happens, it runs through an open flame that we've lit on this wick. And you essentially end up with a stream of flaming methanol at the top. Target, which is to say a metal shield. Our metal shield. So we actually have two different shields. We have a metal shield and we have a wooden shield. We're going to measure the back side of that shield with this laser thermometer to see what the temperature is. Is, is it too hot to hold? Right. Is it too hot to even sit behind? Because like it's one thing if you're holding it and you're burning yourself, then not being very good at shielding you. <laughs> <laughs> and then also if it's just hot behind the shield in general. It's right. not gonna work out. And so we're gonna find out here, and so we're gonna load that bad boy up, and we're gonna shoot this flame a couple times, and then take the temperature. So we have a professional crew on set right now to make sure that, that, make sure that we don't burn ourselves down to the ground like in Game of Thrones. So we have James, Matt, and Mallory, and they're keeping us safe here. Thanks guys. We've also got actual fire extinguishers, just in case. I'm ready. <laughs> Not quite, not quite. There's not enough pressure. You know what happened is, I think we just lost the pressure. A little bit. Yep, a little bit. got a little. <laughs> I was like cold a second ago. Nope, not now. <laughs> now I'm not this cold. Okay, ladder up. Back there we go. Okay, cool. Yeah! Great. Yeah, we just gotta get a little more pressure behind there, and I think I think that was I think that was the key right there. Yeah. I'm not nervous about this. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm nervous about it. Okay, okay. I'm ready when you're ready. I'm ready. So it's 82 degrees. I feel like someone could easily hold that. Let's get a little closer. Yeah. Because, you know, dragon's fire probably hit at variable length, so. Also, dragon fire tends to be a little, I, I want to say they use the word thicker. Yeah. It seems to be more viscous than what we've got, you know, just in general. So it's like, I totally you really want to get it in, on there. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's do it. Now, this is a very specific piece of scientific equipment called a funnel. It's French. <laughs> All right, okay. and so this is our our second test, and then right after this, we're gonna switch it out for the wooden shield. So far, we've gotten 82 degrees. Uh, so I just measured the shield, and so before temperature is 58 degrees. Let's see what it is after. Okay, you ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> All Get it. right. Dude, you nailed it. It's still going. Get it. All right. Okay. So the front is 105. Okay. Okay. Not bad for a little blast. Yeah, not bad at all. And the back is 96.9. That's a pretty big change. That's actually pretty hot. Yeah. So that was a change of what? We were at 58. Now we're at 92. Close to 100, roughly. Yeah, 100. So you could say like 40-ish degrees. So 40-ish degrees with just a couple seconds of dragon fire. Oof. I don't know if I would hang on to that shield for very long. No. I would say another few seconds, that's just going to go up and get hotter and hotter and hotter. I would have so dropped, fast. dropped the shield and burnt to a crisp. Yeah. I just want to do one more test like yeah. this, but a little bit closer. Then we'll move on to the wooden shield. Got it. Okay. One more time. I want to pump you up. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, uh. feel the strength. Uh. All right, I'm just gonna wait till we get a little. Current temp, up. 60. Okay, here we go. What? Oh, let's go check the back. 92. Okay. All right. Okay. 144 in the front. Okay. So, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. So it, it, it does work quite well to block the majority of the heat coming in. Yeah. I mean, so basically the conclusion is, is that at least for the metal one, we don't know in comparison to the wood one, but yet there is a dramatic temperature change when hit with Dragon's Fire. So... All right, let's test the wood one. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, I'm super interested. Yeah. Current temperature of the shield, 56 degrees. All right. I'm actually gonna use this to shield some of the wind for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna shield you. Thank you. Yeah. You are my mm. champion. I am. All right, let's let her up. All right, so this is wood test number one. Any All last right. words for the wooden shield? Uh, would ye or would ye not? like to be a part of this test. <laughs> it was a pun. Okay, ready? Yep. Nice! Okay, mm -hmm. temperature. All right, what does the front say? Front says, 100. <laughs> That's actually not. All right, well, let's go check out the back. It doesn't seem like that much. The back is only 70. The back is only 70 of the wooden shield. 71 significant okay, figures. Okay, whoa, 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 yes. Figures. I can actually smell. It does smell quite the, lovely. The wood burning. I mean, it's really not that warm. Don't touch the and metal that was, bits, though. That was a direct hit. It's definitely warm, though. Yeah. The metal's warmer, and you can feel like it's radiating. I feel like the wooden <laughs> shield, just in the sheer thickness of it, it's just, it's gonna be cooler in the back. So I have some theories, but I'm not gonna say them until we do the second test. Okay. And after that, I'm gonna say what I'm thinking and then we'll see how it go down. All right. But so far, I mean, look, it was 100 on the front, 70 on the back. Yeah. That's a cool breeze. That is not I too bad. I could hold that shield. Even me, Lord of... Little, little Nicky. <laughs> Lord of... Little area. <laughs> Prince of um, science stuff. Yeah. You should have brainstormed these nicknames prior, I, I, I really, feel like. I really should have, yeah. <laughs> Current temp. Current temp. Seven, 57. You guys heard it. 57, that's pretty low. That's pretty low. Probably just getting colder out here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three, two. Yeah! Oh my god! Current temp, 152! Whoa! 152! I'm gonna check the back. Alright, check the back. 68. Six, the back is 68. 68. The 150 on the oh front. Oh my god! 68 on the back. 68 on the back. Wow. wow. So, okay. Here's, here's my theory. Yeah. Here's what I'm thinking. Because there's more air in between the cells and the cellulose within the wood, it keeps 
little pockets of air in between the, the heat source temperature yeah. and the other side, right? Yeah. And so what that's doing is it's buffering the extreme heat on one side to the back side. And so I'm thinking that a wood shield would in fact <laughs> be the better protector of dragon fire. At least for a short period of time. Until, like, until, obviously yeah. if the dragon is continuously attacking you, you're gonna need multiple wood shields. Right. <laughs> but like <laughs> one metal shield is gonna heat up really fast. Yeah. Not disintegrate. Right. And then you're not gonna be able to hold on to it. Hear ye, hear ye! We have thy conclusion! Mine uh, doesn't do that. <laughs> it really does. It sounds like a door, like you're knocking on. Hello! <laughs> oh, hold on. After shooting Dragon's Breath at this shield, we we found that there was about a 30 degree difference. Yeah, depending on the test, there was more than maybe 30, but like a solid delta of at least 30. But then with our wooden shield, we found, what was the difference? It was like a 40 degree difference, but degree it difference. just was not getting as hot in the back. It was like it. 58 in the front ambient, and then only like 60 or 70 And it was in like back. in the 90s in the back of this one. Yeah. Which yeah. is actually totally opposite of what I thought, how this test was gonna go. I really thought the wood one was gonna do a pretty good job, but this, this is like not a sustained test. That's correct. It's just short burst to dragon fire. Trace, you have a YouTube channel, don't you? That's correct. You can find me at youtube.com slash Trace Dominguez. My channel is Uno Dose of Trace, new science videos every week. And I got a Game of Thrones video coming out as well. Hi, and what's it about? It's about the ice wall or the wall and whether or not you could actually build it. And those answers will be in that video. I know I have got tons of questions. It's gonna be awesome. Already. Um, cool. You guys can find the link to that video in the description below. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you really soon.